Hello there folks and a very warm welcome as usual back to What's For Tea. It's lovely to see you again. So thank you very much for popping over just to check out this wee video. Now if you're new, a warm welcome to you also. This is What's For Tea and my name is Cheryl. And normally I do a voiceover, you know, type videos, but today I've decided just to do it this way because it's a taste test, so I don't think it would work, you know, doing a voiceover. Let me know what you think. So today I've got a wee MRE for you. This is it here. I've got menu number seven, beef brisket. Now I get sent this back in October by one of you guys. So Julie, thank you very much for sending it. You know, like I said, this is menu seven, but there are loads and loads of you out there. These are ration packs that are usually consumed by, you know, military personnel. You would simply pop it into your backpack and eat it throughout the day. But I think this is meant to be the sort of main meal of the day. You'll usually have some crackers, a drink and an entree. This one, like I said, is beef brisket. And I believe there's some kind of potato in here as well. So I'm dying. To, I'm dying to get into this because they look actually quite tasty. And I think if you were a soldier out in the field, this one in particular, I think would be most welcomed you know and do let me know if you like these kind of videos because i will do more in the future like i said i was sent this one but they are available on ebay and amazon and they're they're quite inexpensive i was quite surprised you can pick them up for around about 14 pounds and that includes your post and packing and perfect i think for going camping and hiking that kind of thing because they're actually a wee flameless ration heater in here as well you simply add some water to activate it and it steams up and you pop your things inside leave it for 10 minutes whilst you're sorting everything else out i guess and then come back and it's lovely and steamy and warm so yep so let's get into it i can i can hardly wait i'm like a big kid so i've got some scissors here so i'm going to speed this wee bit up because yeah boring <laughs> So let's get in and see what we've got. I have got a wee, I've got a wee tray here. <laughs> Check that out, how cute. Right, so the first thing I've got here is Cranberries Osmotic. Oh my goodness, how exotic does that sound? And I guess this is just a wee dried sort of raisin snack. So yeah, Cranberries Osmotic is our first thing. And then we've got some wheat snack bread. Now, I have seen these because I've watched a few of these MRE videos. There's two in particular, Steve MRE and Emmy Made in Japan. I've watched, well, I've been subscribed to Emmy for a long time and she does these videos and this is actually shaped like a wee piece of bread. But as you can imagine, because it's vacuum packed and there's a, an oxygen pack in here, it's going to be bone dry, quite dense and hard. But I'm still super excited to give it a go. So this is your flameless ration heater here. So you basically pop your food in and then, you know, put your water in and it'll fizz up and steam up. You just fold the top over and that's you. These are the wee sort of pads here. I don't know what's in these actually, but something happens when you add the water and activates and it makes it nice and warm. So I'll show you that in action when we get there. This is our wee accessories pack or sundries pack, I've also heard them called. So let's see what's in here. So we've got a moist towelette, so that's just like a wee hand wipe. Some salt. Some beverage base cranberry grape. Ooh, that sounds nice. I'll pop that into some water. We've got some chewing gum. Now, I think the ones in the red packets are uh, cinnamon, I think. I'm sure they're cinnamon, so yeah. I used to get cinnamon um, chewing gum years ago. I think the company was called Dentine. I used to get it whenever I went to the dentist afterwards as a kind of treat from my mother and I loved it. So I'm hoping that's going to be like that. And we've also got some toilet paper. But come on guys, what are you going to do with this? Ah oh dear. Yeah, so I've got some toilet paper. So I'll set that to the side just now. And uh, we've also got some Twizzlers. Never tried these. I know these are quite big in America. So these are cherry Twizzlers. I like anything cherry flavoured. So I think these are going to be like me licorice type snack. But again, we'll get into that. We've got our spoon. 
And I've also got Irish Cream Cappuccino Instant Powder. Oh, so now, as you can imagine, being out in the field, it'd be super handy just to take the top off of this, fill it with water up to the fill line, give it a wee shake, you know, and you've got yourself a sort of cappuccino style drink. I've actually got a wee glass here, which I'm going to be using. So yeah, so that's our cappuccino. The next thing I've got, oh, some peanut butter. Yes, love peanut butter. Well, this feels quite thick and hard, so I think I'm going to have to massage this wee pack for a wee while to get it nice and loose. But yeah, so we've got some peanut butter. That'd be nice in the bread, actually. The next thing I've got is, oh, au gratin potatoes. Fancy. Some of the ones I've seen have had uh, garlic mashed potato. So yeah, I ho actually hoped I'd receive these ones. I love potato gratin. The next thing we've got is some strawberry jam. Again, it's needing a wee bit of a... A need. It's quite sticky actually. I wonder if this has leaked. No, it looks intact. Anyway, we've got strawberry jam. Again, that'll probably go nice. And the bread with the peanut butter. And this is the wee sleeve for our beef. Again, look how many ingredients are there for beef. So I think you pop your ration heater in here with your beef to keep it nice and secure. And this is the start of the show. This is our brisket beef entree. Well, it's gravy with seasoned beef. Feels all squidgy. It doesn't feel like slices. It feels more like a stew. So, yep. Yeah, so let me go and grab my tray and I'll be right back. So this is my flameless ration heater, like I said. So this is the first thing I'm going to do because this needs about 10, 15 minutes to warm up properly. So according to the instructions, I rip this off if I can. <laughs> Oh dear. Right, so that's the top off. And then, now I've seen a few different ways of doing that. that. This is our pack inside, you know, that activates when you put the water in. So I'll pop that back in. In fact, you know what I might do, actually? Um, I was going to, I was thinking, these two things need to get in that bag. That's the potatoes and that's the brisket. But if I put that there and the potato on top and then put it in, I wonder if that would activate. I'm going to try that. So I've got the beef, I've got my pack, and I've got the potatoes there, and I'm going to try and get everything <laughs> into this bag. So I'm going to now pour the water in and hope this works. There's a wee fill line here, but obviously because my pack is in the middle, I'll try and push it down to the bottom. Right, let's try this. So, I've got a wee jug of water here. Now, apparently you don't need a lot, so I'm just going to pour some in and give it a wee bit of a shake. Right, so I'm going to fold that over and we'll come back to that because I can definitely hear it sort of. Now you want to sit this in a sort of elevated position, obviously, so the water doesn't leak out. As you can see, I've spilt some. <laughs> so I'm going to set this to the side. Um, I think you're meant to put it into this wee sleeve, but there's no way that that will fit. Or will it? It might. Oh yeah, it does. Oh yeah, that's nice. So I'm going to set this to the side for the time being and we'll go on with the rest of the goodies. Pop those in here. I just hope I've got enough sections. <laughs> Let's try one actually. Hmm. I smell very like cherry. I don't, I don't taste overly cherry-ish. The next thing we've got here, a cranberries osmotic. <laughs> I just love that name. It sounds like something from another galaxy. So cranberries, osmotic. So we'll get into these and see what these are like. Just dried cranberries, I'm assuming. Ugh. And we'll pop these over here. So these look actually quite nice. They look nice and plump. Nice and plump and juicy. 
Oh yeah, those are really nice. Those are so tasty. And again, it'd be a really nice wee snack, you know, if you were a soldier out in the field. I think those would be a welcomed wee snack. So yeah, thumbs up for that one. So this is our first drink. This is the Irish Cream Cappuccino Instant Powder. And it just basically says to rip the top off, fill it with water, cold or hot. I'm going to be using uh, warm water because I think that'd be far more pleasant. And then there's a wee sort of seal here so you just seal it back up give it a shake and then you can drink it now like i said i think if you were out in the field you would drink it straight from the bag but i'm not out in the field i'm not a soldier not even close to being a soldier so i'm going to pour it into a glass so let's get the top off mixed up and i'm just going to pop it into a glass give it a wee go Oh, that is very, very sweet. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it doesn't taste like cappuccino. It just tastes like a very, very sweet instant coffee. In fact, you know these wee sachets that you can buy? The instant, you've got the creamer, the sugar, the coffee all in the sachet. And then you, obviously, it's, it just reminds me of that. Cranberry and grape. So again, it's just add it to the glass and pour on water. So that's what I'm going to do. So that's that. And we're going to pour on some water. And this reminds me of Kool-Aid. In, in America, you've got something called Kool-Aid, obviously. And that just smells and looks to me exactly the same as grape Kool-Aid. Which I like, actually. Oh, that's lovely. Yep, yeah, that's really, really nice. The next three things we've got are peanut butter, strawberry jam and the bread so i'm just going to i think i'll just put the the jam and the peanut butter onto the bread and have a pb and j which is peanut butter and jelly sandwich well obviously it's not a sandwich because i think there's only one slice of bread in here so let's get them open and see oh tastes very smells very yeasty so that's our bread how cute Right, that's that half done. Set that to the side and then we'll get it into our jam. Again, there's a wee tear line somewhere. Oh, that looks pretty nice actually. It doesn't look too artificial because I know sometimes with jam, you know, if it's bright red, you know, it's not meant to be bright red. It's meant to be this sort of off, off red colour. Let's have a wee bite. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use my moist towelette which I've got over here. Actually forgot about that. <laughs> what side will I go for? I think I'll go for this one. The bread is very dry, as you would imagine, but the peanut butter is lovely. Mmm. If that's what American peanut butter is like, I am missing out. Very, very dry though. <laughs> now let's try the other side. With the jam. Criticise my big mouth. <laughs> oh yeah. That's superb. Mmm. Jam's really nice. I'm not really one for jam. But it's a really nice jam. But that peanut butter is something else. Right, I'm going to have a wee check and see how our entree is getting on. So this has had actually just over 15 minutes. Probably going on to 20 minutes. But it's piping hot. Absolutely piping hot. So I'm going to try and take this apart without, <laughs> without water going everywhere again. So let's see if we can do this. Right, let's take the sleeve off first. And it's... Piping hot, absolutely piping hot. I can, yeah, it's roasting. So I'm going to get the bags out. So this is our potato gratin. We'll see what we've got. 
Oh. Oh, that looks so cheesy. Oh, yes. That looks really tasty, actually. Right, so I'm going to pop these out over here. Might need to use my spoon for this. Let's get this out over here. Oh, I think I'm going to enjoy that. Definitely. I'm thinking about signing up just to, just to see if I can get into the, the US Army. Probably not. I'm completely, I'm totally unfit. That's something I'm working on this year. So, oh, preview. Very nice. The next thing we've got is our brisket with, well, it's gravy with seasoned beef. Feels very loose. A lot of gravy in there, but roasting hot. Again, you've got a wee tear line there. So we're going to tear that and see how we got on with this one. Right, what have we got in here? A lurking in the bag. Oh, it smells nice. It smells very peppery. Oh, it looks quite nice. Do you know what? I would not say no to this. I would not say no to this most nights. And it actually looks good quality beef. You can see the grain in it there. You know, it's proper beef. It's not, you know, sometimes you get these canned stews and things and you wonder if it is actual beef. So I'm going to try this first. I think it'd give you a bigger spoon, actually. Maybe I'm just a greedy person. So that is the beef there. Oh, that is so tender. Oh, I'm loving that. Incredibly tender. Oh yeah, that's delicious. Absolutely delicious. Mm. Not keen in the gravy though, it's a bit sticky. <laughs> how would you say, kind of gelatinous. But the actual beef is lovely. I'll try a wee bit of the tatties. See what they're like. Very cheesy. That's our tatties. <clears throat> mm. Really nice as well. I prefer the beef, but they are really nice. The potatoes are kind of, they've got a sort of tinny flavour off them. That's probably because it's been in the foil packaging for years. But, you know, certainly nothing wrong with any of it, you know, freshness wise. Because I think these get inspected every couple of years and, you know, just to check for date codes and things, just to make sure they're okay. So they're not going to, I don't think they're going to be any in circulation that are going to do you any harm, put it that way. But yeah, this is really tasty. I think this is going to be my, my calorie, my maximum calorie intake for the day. I don't think I'll be allowed anything else. Oh, I love that, that beef's lovely. Let's try a wee bit of both, shall we? Mmm. Oh yeah. Better together. Definitely better together. I'm trying not to drip this everywhere. See? See? Nearly. Yeah, that is delicious. So my review of this MRE has got to be two thumbs up. I'd give it four if I had them, but I don't. Absolutely delicious. Like I said, this is menu seven beef brisket. So if you're not in the, you know, if you're not in the army, <laughs> but you're just looking for something to take camping or hiking or, you know, that kind of thing, highly recommended this one. I know that there are tons and tons and tons of different combinations available. Oh, nearly forgot my salt. Let's try a wee bit of salt before we go. I'm terrible for salt, I really am. Terrible. Right, let's see. My salt just improves everything as far as I'm concerned. Oh yeah, absolutely delicious. So, like I said, if you want to find one for yourself, you'll find tons of them on eBay, tons of them on Amazon, and they'd, obviously, wherever there's an army, you'll get an MRE, so, there's a UK one, there's an America, 
you know, Germany, France, whatever, they're all on there. So I think next time I would go for a British Army MRE and just to see, you know, what the difference is and the packaging and, you know, the whole setup, just see if there's any difference. So that was my wee taste review for Menu 7 Beef Brisket and thank you very much for coming over and checking it out. And if you do like these kind of videos, let me know in the description box down below. And, uh, sorry, the comment, the comments down below and let me know and I shall try more of these in the future. So until I see you next time, guys, mind to take care of yourselves and from our wee humble kitchen in Scotland to yours, wherever you are in the world, lots of love, take care and bye for now. Bye now.